In this tutorial, you will learn how to create viral AI videos using Clink 2.1, which is one of the best video generators out there. And we're going to be using it to generate videos end to end completely automatically using NA10. The first thing to do is get an account on NA10. So I will leave the link for it down below. You can start with a free trial or pay for $20 per month in subscription. I think this tool is very much worth it. So go ahead and do that. Here is the complete automation and you don't need to recreate it on your own. This is going to be too hard. The only thing you want to do is go on the second link in the description, which is Gumroad. I will give you the JSON file for this automation. I have adapted it from another YouTuber to fit my own needs. And what you have to do is create a new workflow and then go into these three dots and import from file and it will load to you this automation. Let me go through all of the setup processes, all of the things we are going to do and give you a little bit of an understanding. This is also super cost optimized, but more on that later on. Before we move on, I just want to let you know that I have an AI course where I started creating tutorials on automations. We also showcase how to make more money, become more productive, how to code with AI, how to use image, video generators, video editors, text to speech. There are so many things in this course and I update it every single week with new tutorials and new guides. And I think the value in this one is tremendous. It's hosted on Udemy, costs like $20. You pay only once and you get all of the updates. If you want to support this channel, as I'm bringing you this automation completely for free and this tutorial for free, uh, this is a good way. So I give you value and you pay a small fee to allow me to continue doing what I do over here. So let's get started. You can see here that we have some Google Sheet nodes. Google Sheet is needed to manage the whole workflow and automate parts of it. So you want to create a Google Sheet, you can name it whatever you want. I have named it X Automation and I have created this sheet, which is called Cling. So that's what you need to do for, at first, you can name them as you like. You need to have three columns in this automation, which is the image prompt, the status and the URL. Make sure to freeze like the first like row by doing right click on the column one and freeze up to row one. Here, you want to place the prompt to generate the initial image as Kling is image to video generation. You want to set the status to no or whatever, who cares? And you also want to leave a blank spot for URL. This URL is going to be the final video outputted by Kling. Now, in order to generate the image and generate like the video, you've got loads of options. In today's tutorial, I'm using FAL, which is an AI provider, API provider. They offer Kling with very good prices. It's like five seconds of video for 25 cents on the standard mode. So that's completely fine. I think that's a good value. You also have the pro version, which is even better probably than the standard version. Here you can see examples, which costs nearly two times more. You've got like the master version, which is the most costly of all with super realistic footage. Uh, in my notes, I have placed like this standard image to video uh, because I don't want to pay loads of money just to showcase to you this model. You could find so many other models here from images to videos, flux models, like this is so powerful. And if you learn how to use an ATEN and file AI, you can create any kind of automations that have to do with these kind of modalities. So here guys, what you are going to see is that we are using Flux 1.1 Pro. So this costs only four cents per like video, uh, per image to generate, it's not costing much. One of the things that you will have to do is you need to create an account on file. I know it needs a little bit of preparation. You want to create an API key, okay? That's what you want to do and use it on an A10. So let me show you the, the example workflow. You don't have to change a lot of things and it's pretty much pretty self-explanatory. You just click execute workflow and it's going to run. I just want to show you a little bit the connections and give you a little bit of a brief understanding. So in order to have, uh, you know, safety in your generation, you will have to click this execute workflow button or the individual node buttons. Uh, so this is not completely automated. You could add a scheduler here, but I always try to go with manual labor. So I manually tell it, run the automation and output a video. So the first thing is this trigger, you could run it, okay? The second thing is go to my X 
automation from the Google Sheet. You need to connect your Google account. You just click on the create new credential and you just log in with your Google account. You find the sheet within the document. All of these are preset. What you want to do is just place the document. In my case, it's X automation here. Select the sheet you want it to get values from, which is Kling in my case. And here you want the filter. Okay, so with a filter, we're going to be filtering uh, the columns with status of value no. So when we place the value no here, we say to the automation, get this line and bring it to the end document. Also, we only want to match the first matching row because we want to generate a single video at a time so we don't uh, pay more than needed. If you want to do bulk uploads in this case, you could remove that. The second thing is connecting our output to the create image functionality of file AI. So let's run this node by clicking this button. I'm just showing you step by step how you should test it the first time. So as we can see here, we get this row number, image prompt and status. Let me zoom in a little bit because this was way too zoomed out. So we see the image prompt, ancient Greek soldier. You could put whatever you want. You could optimize it with AI or whatever. I don't care. So you want to have this over here. So you can drag it like that over here, remove the previous one that I had. So it matches like your own value. Maybe you have here just prompt or whatever idea. So it matches that, okay? It's pretty simple. So you run this node, it executes. In order to run this node, you will have to do a simple thing. Here you can set what kind of model you want to use through file. Did you find the label of the model here? You can copy it like that. You could use whatever image generation model you want. Maybe you can go with something that costs more or costs less. I don't care, do whatever you want. But what you have to do is set up your credentials. So you want to create a header of authentication account. So the authentication account looks like that. On the name, you write authorization. And here you place key, the, the, the value key. So it's like this, key, space, and XXX, which is your actual API key from the Kling dashboard, from the uh, file dashboard as I showed you before. Again, the automation is down below. This will be preset. You will have to change the value. So the next thing that you want to do, and of course, don't forget, you need to put some credits in file AI. I would suggest that you do a $10 deposit, which is the minimum. Uh, this way you are safe. Even if your key gets compromised, you are not going to get charged more. I would highly suggest that you never Guys, never put your credit card without limits or whatever in platforms like this. It's way too risky and you may lose pretty much all of your money if you do a mistake. So always put credits and when you have to fill up again, you just go manually and fill up maybe with more amounts. So you can see here that we lost four cents due to the image generated. The response here shows us like the image place, etc., etc. We do a small of waiting, so it will wait a little bit. The generation is usually near instant, but we add this in the, to the automated workflow to make sure that there are no unneeded errors. So the information will pass from the wait into the get image. So it's from json.response URL. So we're going to wait for these 45 seconds to happen. So the information flows to the next node. Of course, here you can see the Kling 2.1 uh, like endpoint. It's preset for you. We use the standard version. You can go ahead and select, for example, master version, copy this and place it over here. I'm not gonna do this right now because I don't really have any use for this kind of video that we're going to generate. So it's important to understand that this is not the best quality you are going to get from it. You could go up way, way better. So we see here that the information has flown. We can see here the response URL is correctly connected. Click execute step and we can see the width, the height, content types, URL, we're good to go. So here we can see the node of Kling. It's going to take two things. So it's going to take a prompt, which you might want to change. It's going to get also this get image. So it's from images.url. You can just drag this over here. Okay, so it's kind of simple. Like you can drag this manually in any case if it's something different. And here are the value I will have to change. Okay, so let me show you how you can do this pretty, pretty easily. So this is my actual prompt and it's not exactly the same as here. So you can just go ahead and get this from getvideoidea.item.json.imageprompt. So we can see here that everything is set correctly and we click 
execute step. We can see here the response URL, everything is going to run and you can run this wait flag to wait to get the video. Of course, you can just click execute. I'm just showing you what you should do in your first round to solve any kind of issues step by step. I know this is a little boring, I get it. This wait flag should be for about 30 seconds. It might run faster. And the great thing is that if you go here on file AI slash models and you select your own model, you can go to requests and you can see your actual request being in progress. So you can see here that a request was taken by file AI correctly. We can also see its output here. So even if nothing else works for you right now that it is in progress, you don't see it actually, sorry. Right now that it is in progress, we know that we will get the video at the end of the day. So you don't have to worry, your request works and you're good to go. And you can run like this get video and run this flag, which is false. So you go back to wait and you loop this over. So I'm just going to wait because I do this manually. You could just click again, as I've said, execute workflow to do the whole process end to end. But I'm showing you step by step how we test it out the first time. So I'm go I will wait for this to be generated. Uh, let's run like the wait flag and then I'm going to run the get video exactly when the video is generated and finished. But this very powerful automation, again, as I've said, you can get it down below in the description on Gumroad, super easy. Uh, you don't have to pay anything. You could leave a tip if you want. It's very heavily appreciated. So if you like this video and you found value in it, you can do that. Also, I have created other automations. Maybe I will put a video for VO3 automation, which is so costly, guys. But also, it's a beautiful video. Again, we use File AI, and it's a little bit more detailed than this video because we actually, uh, you know, have showed you load more steps on the setups. So if you are stuck in a setup phase, maybe you want to test that video out. Uh, it has a little bit more details. If you're completely new to an automation, maybe you should go and watch my first AI agent in an AI video it's again on my channel maybe i will place them down below in the description maybe i will do so so we wait for this to happen i don't want to waste any more of your time let's jump to the conclusion okay so we actually have a response which is nice we actually get this video generated so as you can see here on the file you can just click here and see the response to your request this is super nice for such a easy model it took like 80 seconds so i will make sure to improve your automation here i will put just 80 seconds and let's move on so let's do get video oh my god it's running the previous node again all right no worries so it's going to get the video url it's going to see that we actually got the status done and it's going to go to the get URL. It's going to get this response and it's going to place it in our document using the row number used. You could actually change that if you would like. So if you have rearranged like your rows for some reason during this generation, it's going to put the status to done. So it's not going to get triggered again. And it's going to put the video URL over here so you can access it through your Excel sheet, which is super nice as well. But you don't have to worry about this wait flag. I've, I've improved it right now. Maybe it's more, maybe it's less, doesn't really matter. It also has the loop in any case. Uh, so let's see the video while we wait for the workflow to finish. Uh, it has no audio. That's something that you should know. But the video is nice, given the standard version and how cheap it is, I really like it. Like you could create some very nice stories with it, in all honesty. And it didn't really cost us that much, like it was quite cheap. So I think this is very, very nice. Maybe with uh, like the Ultra or Master model, it would be even more amazing. So we actually get the video, okay? So it moves on to the next thing because the branch is true and we execute this step. So we get the actual URL over here, as we can see. And this is just to get the actual uh, video URL. Pretty simple. And then the next thing is to place it into our document. So yeah, you will have to change this from list tag over here to be exactly the same one as your own Google Sheets a file folder or whatever. So what you should do, okay? So column to match on. This is the column to use when matching rows, all right? So that's the first thing. You could go with row number and to get the row number, you just go to get this to your document here, which is get. You select schema, you go here, row number, easy. Second thing, you could match on the prompt. Who cares? We're not going to be changing the prompt. We will change the status to completed 
and we're going to be changing the URL to this value that we got from get URL. We drag this here, it auto matches, execute step, and we're beautiful, we're good to go. So the only problem is that the wait flag gets triggered again. This is what happens when you have connections like that, but that's the end of the workflow and you're going to see all of the values updated here. So no worries, I will show you the response at the end of the video. Let's go to the response. So boom, the workflow was done and boom, we can actually see everything here. We can access the get URL to get the video, download it like that. Uh, you could just go ahead and upload it somewhere or like do whatever you want with it. And the automation is pretty much completed. Thankfully, you found this video hopeful, useful. If you want to learn more, subscribe, check the links down below in the description. See you on the next video.